Hi, I'm Robin and welcome to class number five of the postpartum Pilates series here on Rebalance Pilates. This is the last class of the postpartum series. So we're going to be adding load again. We're going to be working with some light weights, but we're also going to be exploring some of the movement we did in the first class, but we're going to be amping it up this time around. So come and join me for a quick little workout on the mat. All right, I've got a set of light weights here, just two pounds. I'm gonna start by coming onto my hands and knees, and we're gonna start with some calf stretches to begin. So making sure that the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist are in line with each other, the hip and the knee are in line with each other. I'm gonna take my breath in, and on my exhale, as I pull up through that pelvic floor, thinking of that elevator pulling it up, I begin to round through the spine. I'm gonna take a breath in at the top, and I'm gonna slide the tailbone free, rippling through the spine, and allowing the chest to open. I'm not sinking between my shoulders though. Exhale round. And take a breath in. And then another exhale to unravel. One more time, exhaling, allowing for the tailbone to roll to the floor, deepening those abdominals as I round through the spine. Breath in at the top. And exhale. Untucking that tailbone, rippling through the spine, lifting up through the chest, pushing that floor away. Finding a nice neutral spine. So the idea of pulling the baby in for a hug, I'm gonna bring my hands and knees a little bit closer to each other. Taking a breath in, I'm going to extend the leg closest to the camera. Take another breath and exhale, reach the opposite arm out into my swim prep here. You wanna watch that you don't start rotating open through the hip but keep those hip bones facing the floor. Three, pulling the abs in for two, one, and in. Other side, waking up our core right away, the leg goes out, the arm goes out. Pulling the abdominals in, thinking of that pelvic floor, lifting, lifting, but we're still breathing. Three, two, one, and in. I'm going to take the weighted ball into one hand. Pulling the abdominals in, I'm going to reach the arm out overhead. Six taps here. One, two, exhaling up for three, exhaling up for four, five, six. Hold that. Open the arm out to the side. Tap it down for six. Exhaling as I lift the arm, inhaling as it comes down, giving that baby a hug in. Two more. Now you can do this without weights if you want. Last one, bringing the hand toward my hip, tricep bend and extend. Bend and extend. Three, four, five, six. We're gonna hold that. Little pulses, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we're coming all the way down. Moving that ball into the other hand, and we do it again. We're reaching the arm out six times, we come down six. Inhaling down, exhaling for five. Exhale for four. Three, two, one. Opening the arm out to the side, tapping it down and up. Whew, two pounds has never felt so heavy. <laughs> two more. One. Bringing the arm to my hip, bending the tricep, extending it back for six. And five. Four. Three. Two. Holding it back there, little pulses. One and two. Three. Four. Five. Six seven and eight, and then coming all the way down. Good, just pushing yourself back. So we're gonna do that series again. Coming back up. I'm only gonna do four taps this time because we're adding another element into it, which is the leg extension. Now you don't need to do this, you don't have to add the leg, but if you want the extra challenge, here it is. So we're gonna take a breath in, and on the exhale, I'm going to extend my right leg out reaching my left arm out and tapping down for four, three, 
two, one. I'm gonna open the arm to the side, tap it down four times. Now again, you can lower the arm, at, or sorry, the leg at any point if this feels like it's compromising your support in any way. Hold it up there, bring the arm to your hip, triceps, four of them for four, three, two, hold it, four little pulses, one and two and three and four. Bring the arm down and bring the leg down. Do that on the other side. So again, you don't have to lift the leg if you don't want to. It's entirely dependent on where you are in your recovery. Extend the arm out and tap it down for four. Three, two, one. Opening the arm to the side, tap it for four. Keeping your head looking at the end of your mat. Two, one. Bring the arm to your hip, triceps for four. Three, whoo, two, and one. Hold it up there, four pulses. One, two, three, four, and come on down. Push yourself back. Very, very nicely done. We're gonna give the arms a break for a moment, continue to work our abdominals. Let's come to sit on our bum. We're going into some half roll back movements here. So. Hands are coming behind the knees. I'm gonna sit tall on my sit bones, taking a breath in, and on the exhale, I'm gonna to start to let the tailbone roll under toward the pubic bone. The pubic bone is gonna deepen and roll toward the belly button. We're gonna hold that for a moment. And on my exhale, I'm gonna reverse my wheel. So I'm gonna let my tailbone begin to roll out from under me. So I come back onto my sit bones. Let's do it again, breath in. Exhale, scooping. Staying open in the chest. Breath in, exhale, unravel deep in the abdominals. Feel like someone is pulling your yoga pants up as you unravel. Two more like that. Exhale, pulling up through the pelvic floor as you roll yourself off of the sit bones. And exhaling as you roll back up, thinking of pulling up through the yoga pants, getting taller through that lower back. One more time here, and we're gonna build on it. We're gonna exhale, scoop, and we will stay. Arm closest to the camera is gonna lift up. Resisting rotation and just opening the arm out to the side. And I'm gonna hold that for four, and three, two, little bit of oblique work here, sneaky oblique work. We're bringing the arm back in and down. Bring the other arm up. So I'm still in my scoop, I'm still pulling the abdominals deep, inside, pulling it through the pelvic floor, holding it for three, two, one, bringing the arm back, lowering it down, take a breath in, and exhale, roll yourself up tall. All right, let's add rotation. So we're going to scoop through the tummy muscles, holding here. My back hand, I'm going to now bring it to meet my front hand, and I'm gonna allow myself to rotate. From here, I'm going to let myself go back a little further, then deepen the abs to come up. Let myself go back, exhale, deepen. So my arms are lengthening and bending, but my arms are actually not doing any work. They're lengthening and bending because my torso is going up and down. Two more, inhaling down, exhaling up. One more time. Coming down, bringing the arm around, take a breath in, exhale, roll yourself up tall. Last set here, exhale, scooping through the abdominal muscles, bringing that front hand to the back. I need to deepen through the oblique as I lengthen back, exhale, deepen the oblique, pull myself up. Inhale down, exhale, pull myself up. And four, three, two, one. Going to bring myself back to center, take a breath in, and exhale, rolling myself up tall. Excellent. We are going to come on to our backs now. You're going to need your weights for this, so keep them close. Taking a moment to find my 
neutral pelvis. Now, that uh, half roll back work can get really into the hip flexors, so let's do a couple of hip lifts, engaging the glutes, pressing down through the heels, and that way I get that stretch through the front of the leg, through those hip flexors, and then I'm gonna hinge at my hips, let my tailbone lead the way down so my torso is coming down in one big piece. We're gonna do that two more times, just to engage your glutes, stretch out the front of the leg, and we'll be visiting hip lifts, of course, my favorite exercise, uh, a little later in the class. Coming up, and down, okay. In our first class, we did um, toe taps and double knee drops. We're doing it again, but in tabletop. So we're gonna take a breath in. On the exhale, I'm going to deepen through my abdominals and kind of do that little half roll back curl. So my tailbone will float a little bit off of the ground, and now I feel my back pressing into the mat, but my abdominals have done the work. This is an imprinted position. I'm gonna bring my legs now, exhaling as I bring the legs up into tabletop. So really working those abs. Going into double, or um, yes, double knee drops from here. So I'm allowing my legs to open wide. Exhale, pulling the back together. And I wanna to try to maintain this little imprint. So pulling up through those abdominals, pulling up through that pelvic floor. If it's feeling like it's a little bit too much, you can always bring the legs back down and do it with the feet on the floor and just do the opening close of the double knee drop. Two more, inhaling to open, pelvic floor stretching, exhaling, pulling that pelvic floor in those inner thighs, last one. And close. Toe taps, alternating. Exhale as you tap the foot down, inhale it up. Exhale the other leg down. Inhale up. So again, if you feel that you are arching into your back on this, or your back is overworking and you're not feeling your abdominals, bring one foot down. Keep that foot down as you do single leg toe taps. Do two more on that side, and then switch the legs out. And you can do six on the other. We've got six left here. Exhaling for six. Exhaling for five. Four. Feeling those abdominals, that pelvic floor, pulling it up every time you send that leg down. Two more. One more time. From here, I'm going to bring my legs down for just a moment. I'm gonna do a couple hip lifts. Again, I wanna stretch out those hip flexors, taking a breath in, exhaling, using my glutes to press my hips up, hinging at my hips to come down. We're just gonna do one more of those, and then we're moving into leg work, or sorry, arm work, with our weights, and down. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring our legs back into tabletop for our arm work, so taking a breath in. Exhale, you can go into a little imprint, bringing the legs into tabletop, taking a breath in, and on my exhale, I'm bringing my arms up with my light weights. I'm gonna start with my hug a tree, opening the arms wide, exhale, bring it together. Opening the arms wide, exhale, bring it together. And three, four, Five, six, seven. Last one for eight, we're gonna keep the arms up here. Turning the palms now to face the end of my mat, I'm gonna bend my elbows wide and punch up for eight. Seven. So again, if you feel like you're going into your back, you're not connecting with your pelvic floor as much as you'd like, bring the legs down. Do the arm work without the legs in tabletop. You're still gonna get the work. Two more. Last one, arms stay up. Turn the palms to face each other. You're gonna send the arms back, not touching the floor, but in my peripheral vision. Exhale, bring them back up to the sky. Inhale back. Exhale, deepening through the abdominals to come back up. And again, inhaling back. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, two more times. Inhaling, exhale, 
One more. Exhale. From here, triceps to finish. So I'm going to bend in my elbow, bring the weights down toward my head, and up for eight. Seven. And six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Deepening the abdominals as I bring the arms down to the floor, bringing the legs down one at a time, and we're moving into our hip lift series here. So let's do three hip lifts together, taking a breath in. On the exhale, I'm going to come up, and then I'm going to hinge at my hips, let the bum start to widen, the tailbone leads the way down. Do it again. Exhaling, engaging your glutes, coming up, hinging at the hips and coming back down. And again, and down. On this next one, we are going to come down and we are going to stay up. All right, so from here, I'm going to grab my weights again, bring my arms back up, and I'm going to go into some arm scissors with my weights, keeping those glutes active, exhaling as the arms come up, inhaling as they scissor away from each other, Lots of energy in my inner thighs, so I'm not letting my legs fall away from each other. Lots of energy in my glutes and hamstrings. Pressing actively into the floor with my heels. Last one. Holding the arms there. Let's come halfway down. Pulse it up for eight. And seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, hold it up there, one, pause. Press into your big toes as you lift your heels. Hold that there. Pulses again for eight. And seven, you can lower your heels at any point or lower your arms down. And four, three, two, one. Lower the heels, lower the hips, come all the way down. All right, we are moving onto our sides. We will need one weight, so do keep the weights close. I'm gonna be on my elbow for this, so I wanna actively push the floor away so I'm not sinking into my shoulder and staying very supported in my armpit, and I'm gonna extend my leg out. From here, lift and lower, one, and two, three, four, five, six, Seven, we're gonna hold that there, flexing the foot, coming forward for side kicks, pointing the foot, giving the glute a squeeze as we go back. Two, three, pushing the floor actively away for four. Five, trying to stay really quiet in my torso, so I'm not kind of going back and forth into arching and sinking. This is our last one. Hold it, turning the leg out just slightly, and I do circles here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and then reversing that circle for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna bend my leg in with control and come down. From here, I'm gonna lie myself down, Take my top leg and I'm going to allow it to relax in front of me, extending my bottom leg out and flexing the foot. From here, I lift and lower. One, getting a little inner thigh work in. And three, pulling the baby in for a hug. We're thinking of that pelvic floor pulling in and up. It's a little harder to feel here. That's why I like the baby hug cue. Two, hold it up there, point the foot, circles eight in each direction. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Reversing that for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming down. We're coming back up onto the forearm. You're going to need your weight for this. We're extending the top leg out. I've turned my foot in a little bit, and my knee, my leg here, is coming underneath my hip a little bit more because I'm going to go into some hip lifts. I'm just going to um, take the weight in hand and um, hold it above my head. And then I'm going to lift that bottom hip 
up, squeezing the glutes in the inner thighs, and I'm going to lower the hip down. Let's do it again. Exhaling up and inhaling down. Exhaling up and inhaling down. For four, three, two, one. We're going to hold that up there. Then I'm going to lower the arm down in front of my body and lift it back up for six, five. Holding the plank, pushing the floor away for three. And we've got two left here, two. One more time. Lower the hip down. Come up. Give yourself a side bend. And we're going to do this on the other side. Lying ourselves, or sorry, coming onto the um, forearm, extending that top leg out, pushing the floor away so I'm staying really, really lifted under the armpit. And here I go, lifting for eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up there, flex the foot, side kicks coming forward, pointing the foot, giving the glute a squeeze as we go back, forward and back. Forward and back. So staying lifted, trying not to sink into the shoulder. Two more. One more. Holding it, turning it out. Eight circles in each direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Reversing that for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bending the leg in with control and down. Lying yourself down, let the top leg relax forward. It gives the bum a little bit of a stretch. I'm going to flex my bottom foot, lift it and lower it down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm going to hold it up there, pointing the foot circles here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, reversing that for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, coming down. Bring myself back up onto my forearm. Top leg is gonna reach out and tuck under. I'm gonna bring my um, bottom leg in a little bit, grabbing my weight, and I'm letting the shoulder sink into the um, shoulder joint here, so I'm not overly reaching. I'm just letting it relax in. Here we go, we are lifting up tall and we are touching for eight and up, seven and up. Hips are both pointing to the front of the room for four, three, two, one. Hold that, lowering the weight down, lifting it up for six, five, four. You can always lower yourself down onto your hip if you need to. Two. One more time here. Lower down. Push yourself up. And side bend. All right. A quick little bit of work on our belly. We don't need our weights anymore. We're going to come onto our stomach and go into our breaststroke prep, strengthening those upper back muscles with all of those feeds and cuddles it's important we strengthen those muscles. So hands underneath the forehead, pulling the tummy muscles away from the floor. I'm gonna to start to reach out through the top of my head and taking my hands with me. And I'm just coming to a little bit of extension and then I'm gonna melt back down. And I'm just gonna do four of these, reaching out through the top of the head, lengthening, and then coming back down, giving my bum a little squeeze, Pulling my abs away from the floor, reaching out through the top of the head, lifting up through the front of the chest, and down. One last time, reaching, 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 and coming down. I'm going to keep my hand, my head on my hands, bending my legs, heels together, toes apart. So I have a diamond shape with my legs now, and I'm going to do an exercise called heel squeeze prone. So I'm going to squeeze my glutes, squeeze my heels, and I'm going to lift my knees 
to a little hover off of the floor. And then I'm gonna let it relax back down. And yeah, I'm gonna place my head on my hands, squeeze the glutes, lift, and back down. And so if you feel that you're pushing too much into your hip bones, when you do this and not equalizing across the pubic bone and hip bones, you can always put a little towel under your pelvis. It will help to equalize it a little bit. Or you can think of tucking your bum under just slightly so you can push into your pubic bone a little bit more. If any of this is uncomfortable, please see your pelvic floor physio if there's anything uncomfortable around the pubic bone area. Two more. Exhale and squeeze. Inhaling down. Last one, exhale, squeeze, getting those glutes in. And down. I'm going to extend the legs out and the arms out. So now I have a star shape with my body. I've got a big V with my hands, big V with my legs. And my nose is hovering. Slow swimming. The right arm, the left leg, and the upper body are going to come to a little lift. And then lower down. Other side, the left arm the right leg and the upper body come to a little hover and back down. And again, right arm, left leg and body, inhaling down, exhaling, lift, inhaling down. One more time on each side, exhaling to lift, inhaling down. Last one, exhale to lift, and down, then we're going to lift both of the arms and the legs up and do fast swimming, swim, 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 pulling those abs in, swim, 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 for five, four, three, two, one, reach everything out, bring it down, push yourself to a child's pose. Stretch out. Breathing easy here. When you're ready, coming up onto your hands and knees, finishing with some cat stretches again. Breath in on the exhale, pull up through that pelvic floor as you round through the spine, hit that elevator drawing up to the third floor. Breath in. Exhale, there's still some pelvic floor activation, even though the tailbone is sliding free. And we're lifting the chest. One more time here, scooping the tummy muscles, rounding the spine. Sliding the bum free and rippling through. Coming back to neutral and resting. And there you are, class number five. I hope that these postpartum classes have helped you kind of kickstart that core after baby. Um, from here, you can go into the new to Pilates classes. Uh, there are many, many classes to discover through the rest of the Rebalance Pilates catalog for you to continue to build your strength, continue to build your core. And there's many classes that are pregnancy friendly that are still new to Pilates um, that you can do postpartum. They're fantastic classes. You're gonna get a really great workout and still a lot of great core work. So thank you so much for joining me. It's been an absolute pleasure and I look forward to seeing you again on the mat. Bye.